Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at the difference in performance between the Intel HD 5500 from the Broadwell 5th uh, generation core chips and HD 620 in the 7th generation KB Lake core chips. Um, so here we have a i3-5010U in a Nook chassis up against a Core i3-7100U in a Dell Inspiron 15 laptop. And we can see here there's actually quite a big difference in sort of percentage terms between the two. Uh, we're running this in the sort of low to mid-range uh, 3D Mark Skydiver test and we're seeing a 36.6% increase in performance on KB Lake um, going by the score that the benchmark gives at the end, um, which for two generations is quite a big increase. I've always found Broadwell was a bit of a strange performer. I didn't tend to find it gave a huge advantage over um, its predecessor, uh, Haswell. So HD 4400 and 5500, there was never a huge gap. Um, similarly, between 520 and 620, there isn't a huge gap, but there has been a nice generational improvement from sort of the Haswell Broadwell architecture and the um, Skylake and KB Lake architecture. So, if you've made the step up from a laptop that's a couple years old to a new KB Lake based machine, you are actually going to see a reasonable increase in performance in gaming, even if that's not sort of what it's best at. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting, and um, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel for lots of gaming tests with Intel HD 5500, HD 520, and HD 620, and subscribe to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.